I would like to apologize to anyone who has Kiki vomit fatigue. In the past, I had to take a sustained break from commenting on her toxic ass due to the fact that it became so noxious over the summer that I once projectile vomited when she popped up in my feed on social media, hence the eponymous moniker Kiki Vomit. Let me be loud and clear about this living entity. Kiki Vomit absolutely disgusts me. It Kiki Vomit is a monster. That being said, I thought I'd turn a serious negative into a positive by making this a teachable moment for the kings. It's real simple, fellas. Just walk away. That's all you have to do. Walk away and deny. Walk away and disavow. Tell yourself she doesn't exist. Call an attorney and treat her like a hired surrogate who had your verified biological child. Through your attorney, establish a gag order, non-disclosure agreement for the child and yourself, so the toxic life form cannot use either of you for clout. Never talk about her to anyone. If you feel compelled to do so, see a licensed male therapist. Do not involve any women in the situation, especially if you are a black man. Through your attorney, ask the court to compel it, the baby mama, to only communicate with you through a designated court app for things only involving the child. Keep receipts for everything and keep a vigilant eye on the child. If you start to see signs of matriarchal tampering, call child seraphses. Other than that, Push the toxic breeder out of your circle as much as humanly possible and keep documentation written and otherwise of all interactions until the child is old enough not to require a parental escort for visitation. Make damn sure all child handoffs occur at a police station in full view of the desk sergeant. This is paramount to your survival economic and otherwise. Remember, walk away and disavow. Pay your court required child support and nothing more. Stay on their bumper during the crucial early developmental stages of your certified child's life. Erase that bitch. Kings. I've seen a gender-flipped version of this in the Latino community, and it works. Trust me, it works. So what I've suggested probably seems like a lot of work, huh? Well, if you're careless with your seed, this is your motherfucking reality. If you want to fuck around and find out in the West without a condom, this is your life, boys. Once they have that baby, they feel like they are in control. They feel like you are their property in perpetuity, and nothing will change that shit. Minority majority oversight makes it so. Fucking a bitch raw is as dangerous as drinking and driving. It's that serious. Kiki Vomit is a monster. A monster with a womb. Yes, she is a toxic, noxious entity, but not an anomaly. They are legion. The best way to play the game is not to play the game. Trust me, protect your peace, kings, protect your bag, and you damn sure better protect your seed, your future, your motherfucking legacy. S-Y-S-B-M means save yourself black men.